the NFL draft is a couple days away. It is Monday. We pick on Friday. So, you know, it's draft week, right? You know, you all all our, our posters are jumping. We're scared. We don't know what Bill O'Brien's gonna do. We're, but we're gonna discuss it next. Cutie and show. Hello everybody, welcome back to the 713 Houston Sportcast. I'm your host, Ruben Calvillo. Once again, guys, we're I'm giving away one of these posters just like this one at a thousand subscribers. Um, we just reached 500 and I'll be uh, announcing that winner after you know the NFL draft. And also, if you want to come on the channel, guys, don't be shy. Hit me up on Twitter. I'm cool, man. We could talk football. You can come on the channel and we can make something happen. But like I said, every day I'm going to be giving you guys one person who I think the Houston Texans should be looking at in this NFL draft. And let's start with defensive tackle Ross Black, like one of the best defensive linemen in the NFL draft. Blacklock's specialty is being fantastic against the run. He posted a grade of an 89.5 against the run. Dude is an absolute monster. He commands the double team, and if you leave him one-on-one, -on -one, if you leave him against the center or against the guards, he is going to win that 70% of the time, and how he wins that is with his power. He can just bull rush you as soon as the ball is snapped. He's very shifty for a man his size. You know, his lateral movement is very, very, very surprising for a man, you know, who is 300 pounds to be moving like that, and, you know, he's shown that he can get to the quarterback. He had three and a half sacks. But we're not worried about getting into the pass. So we're worried about what he is doing against the run and could potentially free up the other defensive players on this Houston, Texas defense. Ross Blacklock is somebody who you could build your defense around for the future because we all know, you know, you know, I just have to say it. We all know that the J.J. Watt era is coming to an end. Ross Blacklock is first round talent, but because there's so many gifted wide receivers coming in the draft, he is going to fall. And if he falls to forward, the Houston Texans should jump on him. I don't care who is there. I don't care if Jonathan Taylor is there. I don't care if um, Terrell Lewis is there. Ross Blacklock could be a force for this Houston Texas team for the next 10 to 15 years. He is just a dominant, dominant player. And, you know, J.J. Watt commands a double team. And if you leave Ross Blacklock one-on-one, -on -one, I'm sorry. He is going to win that battle every single time. We lost D.J. Reader. And, you know, Timmy Jernigan, as great as he is against the run, if we still run the 3-4, I would like to see him move to, to a defensive end and have Black Black just eat up the middle. You know, we have Leonard Fournette in our division. We have Marlon Mack. We have King Henry. You know, they love to run the ball. And towards the end of the season, the Houston Texans run defense was suspect. It wasn't great at all. You know, Henry had like 180 yards the last game. I believe I'm not quite sure. But Ross Blacklight will solve that problem. He's an absolute beast. As soon as the ball snaps, his motor is high. He doesn't give up. He has phenomenal hands, you know, and he could change this defense. But let me know what you guys think, guys. Should should the Houston Texans off Ross Blacklight? Or should we look at somebody like an AJ Espinosa, like a Terrell Lewis? I personally want him because, you know, he's huge. You know, up the middle defensive tackle. Who has, you know, who has the, the potential to be one of the best you know, defensive tackles in the NFL. Maybe I'm selling him too high, but just look at the tape that I'm showing. He's an absolute freak of nature. He's an absolute monster. If he's there at 40, I don't know how the Houston Texans pass him up. But as always, guys, we're almost towards the draft. Thank y'all for watching, man. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm giving you guys the news. I'm being honest. You know, I'm not spreading no fake rumors, guys. Love you guys. As always, go Texans. Y'all have a blessed day.